Some people decide to hang up their work boots in their mid 50s, others might wait until they're closer to 70, and some won't ever retire fully at all. In this video, I'll share the ideal retirement age from four perspectives to help you make the right decision for you. In case you're new, I'm Sin Meyer, the founder of Second Wind Movement and a life coach for older adults who are striving to turn the retirement years into their best years full of purpose and meaning. Retirement is both an exciting and daunting milestone. And with so many factors to consider, like financial stability, health and well-being, the quality of life, and your identity shift, it can be very challenging deciding the right time to retire for you. And while there's no right or wrong answer, to help you decide when to retire, we'll cover the ideal retirement age from four perspectives, starting with number one, official retirement age. This is the earliest age that you can get retirement benefits from certain government programs, like Social Security in the US. Most countries have a number set in stone, although in reality, the average retirement age is of course typically a bit lower or higher. And in the US, it gets a little bit more complicated. Depending on your birth year, the retirement age for social security benefits ranges from 66 to 67 years old. And here is a detailed chart outlining the exact ages that people can collect full social security benefits according to your birth year. And in case you're curious about other locations, there are some average retirement ages by country. In Canada, the full retirement age is 65, Greece, age 67, France, 62, Denmark, 66 and a half, Ireland, age 66, Japan, 63, and Turkey, age 59. Of course, social security and other government benefits aren't the only deciding factor for an official retirement age. Another driving factor is number two, best age to retire for health. The best age to retire for health depends on a myriad of factors, but they're all worth considering because deciding when to retire and enjoying years of good health go hand in hand. Some argue that retiring too early or too late can adversely affect your well being, but age isn't necessarily the most important factor in this equation. And if you're familiar with our content, you know that finding clarity on your purpose and your passions and having the right structure to implement and support that clarity is going to be huge. But as far as your health goes, consider these four factors. Genetic predisposition, the likelihood of developing certain conditions increases over time. Job characteristics, the more physically or mentally demanding your job, the greater retirement related health benefits. Physical activity, retirement may provide more or fewer opportunities to engage in physical activities. So just keep tabs on your daily exercise and activity level. Number four, social connections. The types of relationships that you foster can also impact the best time to retire. Dive a bit deeper into each of these areas and you'll find nuances that impact your own ideal retirement age for health. For example, take social connections. So if you primarily draw from informal connections like family, friends, and neighbors, it's going to be much easier to retire early than if you rely solely on work-related social engagements. And in another area, your genetic predisposition, it does play a role in determining your health, but it's not as impactful as your lifestyle choices. According to the World Health Organization, only 25% of the way you age is genetic age-related, or dependent on existing medical conditions, which means a whopping 75% of the way you age is dependent on things that are in your control, like your environmental and behavioral and lifestyle choices. So the key is to focus on the factors that you can control and how you intentionally plan that out in retirement. There's also longevity to consider and deciding how many of those years you actually want to spend in retirement. For instance, a 62 year old male has a 40% of living to age 85, whereas a 62 year old female has a 52% chance. So while there's no magic number, if you have big retirement plans, it's worth considering a bird's eye view of your health and seeing how that fits into the big picture. Number three, best retirement age for happiness. The best age to retire for happiness varies on the individual needs and goals, of course. From millennials who are dreaming about early retirement to baby boomers who think that they should keep working beyond age 70, every person will have unique personal factors that influence your decision. But there is one big universal piece that most people miss when planning for retirement, and it's that they only plan for their finances. Again, if you're familiar with our content, you know about my obsession with planning out the non-financial stuff, like pursuing your passions and your sense of purpose. I highly encourage you to take a look beyond finances and use the five rings of retirement framework 
to find more clarity. Find ways to boost your energy in each of these areas. Growth, challenge yourself to continue to grow, learn and evolve. Community, which are your relationships and your social engagements. Health, all of it, your physical and mental and emotional health. Giving back, this is how you help others, you contribute and you share your unique gifts. And more often than not, to be really satisfied, this does not look like traditional forms of volunteering. So don't fall into that trap. Finance, use money to support your interests and goals in the other four rings of retirement. When you're intentionally weaving in the activities, the people, the places, and the events that light you up from the inside out, that's a surefire way to secure your happiness in retirement. This is my specific wheelhouse and it's my calling. So if you want help achieving more purpose and passion in retirement, use my five rings of retirement, use my rewire retirement method to find clarity first and then implement them into your reality. I'll leave resources in the links below this video, just in case you're interested. And for now, number four, the best age to retire early. So this is when you retire before the official retirement age. Retiring early certainly has its appeal, removing work stress from your life, getting rest and relaxation, and then also having more time to pursue your passions. But deciding to retire earlier than the official retirement age shouldn't be taken lightly if you want to avoid making typical retirement mistakes. A meta-analysis of over 100 studies pulled 15 factors that can influence the decision to retire early from family-related and income-related reasons to job satisfaction and mental health. While there's a lot to unpack, the general consensus was that those who decided to take the plunge and retire earlier than expected made the right call. But the emphasis here is on decided. If early retirement was forced, the consequences weren't quite so positive. So if you're considering retiring early, take the time to consider all your options and definitely look into the factors beyond just finances, like finding clarity on your sense of purpose and your passions, because there's a big identity shift that happens when you make this transition and you wanna set yourself up to retire to something. Otherwise, all that energy that you invested into your peak career and family life, it floats up and if you don't convert it into something intentional, it converts itself into something typically like depression or anxiety. So if done right, retiring early can be very rewarding. You just have to make sure that it's the best age for your happiness. So all in all, the best age to retire has no one size fits all answer, but there is an answer that's unique to your situation and your dreams and desires. So it's worth considering these four key factors, which I will recap right now. Number one, official retirement age determined by your country's laws. Number two, best age to retire for health, influenced by genetic predisposition, job characteristics, physical activity, and social connectedness. Number three, best age to retire for happiness, find clarity across the five rings of retirement. Number four, best time to retire early. With 15 factors influencing that decision, just make sure that you're prepared to retire early. Thank you so much for being here and for striving to be your best during retirement. We need more people like you helping to shift our culture to be better. So please like, share, and subscribe and comment on this video. Every engagement that you make with our videos helps us do our job better of creating helpful content for this very important audience of older adults. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.